now, Secure and Entrepreneurs, Miss Aurora is back. You better be excited because many of you have now been emailing about this whole Project 2025. Miss Aurora, what say you about Project 2025? How is it going to affect me as a United States citizen? How is it going to affect me affect me as a United States citizen who is a business owner? How is it going to affect me as a United States citizen, as an entrepreneur who is attempting to expand, uh, you know, my, my business and increase my revenue. What's going on? Okay. I want to thank you for emailing. Please continue to do so at info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. This is going to make a video about project 2025 and how, it, how it could potentially affect entrepreneurs. I need to get through the manifesto though. You know what I'm saying? I have to do the research and see what, what it is saying to us. All right. So in this video, Mr. Roy is going to get into some global revenue strategies and international expansion for entrepreneurs simply because we know that we can no longer be the mom and pop on the corner. If you want to stay on the corner, you have got to find your way to expanding whatever it is that you sell internationally. So Miss Aurora and the Secured Entrepreneur Movement are here to help you do that. Let's get into it. Can we do it? All right. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. And we do know that this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right now, Secured Entrepreneurs, for our entrepreneur friends <laughs> who stop by, come on now, please share this video, like, make a comment, all right? We can, you know, we've had many a battle in the comments, in the, you know, the comment section, okay? <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel because we're, we're going all in on the sole proprietor, the CEO. We don't have a choice at this time, okay? So the very first thing that Ms. Aurora is going to share with the entrepreneurs who have not made the transition from sole proprietor to CEO is that you must change. You must change your current legal status. You must change your current legal entity. Okay. By that, I mean, if you are operating out of a limited liability company that is registered in a state that does not provide privacy enactments, you must change now. You must consider operating out of an anonymous LLC. We are not kidding here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement about that. Why? Because when it is that you are now transitioning your business, your business model so that it expands internationally, you need the added protection. You need to know that nobody knows what the heaven is going on with you personally. You need to know that nobody knows what the heaven is going on with maybe potential uh, members, you know, managers, the things that are important, the important people. Okay. We don't need to go to the secretary of state's website and see your name. We don't need to go to the secretary of state's website and see who other managers are, who other members are, things like that. Okay. Because this is going to depend on how it is you need to set that legal entity up, but we don't need nobody in the public needs to know any of that. Okay. And you have to begin to uh, be in a state that does not ask you to give them an annual report. We don't want to know what you're doing. We don't want to know about the, about the finances. You know, we're going to leave that up to, you know, the internal revenue service. If you deal with them, we're going to leave that up to the state, your, you know, whoever, you know, whatever, whoever's collecting stuff like that, we're going to leave that up to them. We don't want to know that. Okay. That's the very first step. You need to operate out of the correct legal entity for the type of business that you are about to expand internationally. Okay. Because your global revenue is going to depend on it. Please hear the words that are coming out of Miss Aurora's mouth. Okay. Do not play any more games with yourself. There are many of us who have made the decision that we can no longer reside in the United States. 
for a variety of reasons. Okay. There are many of us making loads, loads, loads of money, loads of profits. Okay. And so these wealth cycles grow and grow and grow. And many of us, because like we have a lot of secured entrepreneurs who are doing a lot of turnkey real estate in Dubai, who have expanded out into Spain, who are in uh, France at this time, and they are buying businesses. Well, we have to create entities there. We have to have entities here. We need to be able to utilize the pass through. Okay. The pass through tax authority that we have that's been kindly given to us by the internal revenue service okay we utilize the llc for what it is designed to do and we are organized in a state that allows us to do things that other states they don't have enactments or statutes for you must be very mindful of that so that's number one you have to change your current legal entity from one that is assisting you in being a sole proprietor to one that is anonymous. The second thing that Ms. Aurora is going to say to entrepreneurs who have not gone here yet, you must establish your irrevocable trust when it is that you are now aiming for global revenue and ex you know, because you're expanding internationally, you're, you're getting that global revenue. Okay. You need, to now operate out of some irrevocable trust so that you can truly protect your assets. Now we spoke before in the video where I talked about these countries uh, that most secured entrepreneurs who are doing this internationally are banking with. Okay. They allow us to bring our irrevocable trust because we need that. We need the layer. Okay. We remember the trust is your private face the anonymous LLC really is your public face. So your irrevocable trust is going to bring on the added layer of asset protection so that no one really knows what's going on with these beneficiaries. Okay. Who are these people? And most of the time, we're really not going to know who the grantor is. We really have a concern with who the trustee is. The trustee is really in control of everything that's going on inside of that entity. So if anybody needs to call on someone involved with the trust entity, they're going to call the trustee. They're going to connect with and contact that trustee. It's nobody's business affairs who these ask, who the, who the beneficiaries are as it relates to these assets. Okay. Because one of the things that we have found in some banking institutions, We've had some people who, and th this is no disrespect to anybody who's out here on the scene doing, doing this type of work, but we know that there's some individuals who do not have the expertise, the experience, and they have given information to financial institutions that the financial institution should not have had. So what ensued after that were sales calls, sales calls to beneficiaries of these trusts. That should not happen. So just to let you know that that really should not happen. D these individuals, nobody should really know that this thing is going down like this. And it's just sad that we've, we've had many stories to come out of famous people. We just talked about Michael Jackson. Well, well, we know that he had children. We know all of this. Okay. But the story came out that, oh, the beneficiaries, you know, his children, his mom, they don't have access to this and that, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not good to know these things. Okay. This is, this is the whole reason behind why you are investing in and living within these types of entities. So I want you to be mindful of that as well. Okay. As you are building these things out, you need to know the do's, the don'ts, and things that you really don't want to happen so that you know how to ask the, ask particular questions, questions that would be important that you're not really going to think about when you have people handling your affairs. Okay. But you want to make sure that there are things that will not be made public. They're not going to go to these financial institutions. You're not working with people who don't have a problem 
you know, uh, speaking with the press, you know, uh, giving comments to people and all that stuff and, and talking about what's going on with your legal entities. You don't want it to happen. So where is Miss Aurora going with this? We're talking about asset protection on an international level. When it is that you are working on your global revenue strategy, this irrevocable trust entity is going to protect your assets from the creditors, the lawsuits, any potential threats to these assets that you are now flowing from country to country. It's a very real thing. And Mr. Aurora has to constantly tell entrepreneurs, please do not believe that the unthinkable could not and will not happen to you. Let's talk about how many frivolous lawsuits go on daily. Okay. I was just sharing. I think I'm going to upload that other video first. Okay. I was just sharing in the other video or what happened to one of the new secured entrepreneurs. Okay. She, she's local. She makes a product. She's at a flea market. I don't, I don't know if she was at a actual in-person flea market or this was on, on, on some, some type of online thing, but whatever it is, she was making something and whatever it is, she made irritated somebody. Okay. Was she not sued? And did she not lose? Yes, she was sued. Yes, she lost. It cost. Okay. This is not a game. It's not a joke. And whenever it is that you are, and once again, okay, as I was saying, I'm, I think I said it in the other video that it is, it is all fine and well to be a solopreneur, but you must not look like you are a solopreneur in the public. You must have your entire legal structure done properly to protect yourself, protect the people that you're actually doing business with. Okay. Protect the people who are inside of your nucleus. And I'm talking these individuals who may be your, your, your spouse, your children, your grandchildren, you know, things like that. Okay. So we're talking, you need to have the layer of asset protection to protect these assets that are flowing internationally. All right. And then we're going with tax efficiency. Now we already know that the irrevocable trust is going to lessen uh, your tax burden significantly, but especially when you are doing this whole international business. Okay. When you, this is a part of your global revenue strategy to have the anonymous entity. Okay. That's, that's your face. And then the irrevocable trust that works in the background. Okay. It's, it's, it's a layer. All right. So you definitely want to take advantage of the taxes that you will not pay that you will not pay on your profits. Okay. Now, you know, we're all about tax free wealth here in the secured entrepreneur movement. And, you know, let me just make this clear. If you owe the internal revenue service, you need to pay those people. If you owe your state tax and you better pay those people, we're talking about not creating taxable events. Okay. Mr. Rora shows you how to avoid legally avoid creating taxable events. That's what we're talking about here. Okay. And then the third thing I'm going to say about the irrevocable trust is your wealth preservation. This is serious because we, we know, and I'm, Ooh, I can't wait to make this video in a moment. Okay. Cause today's the day. Okay. But we know that a state tax is real. Death tax is real. Okay. You, you have got to be so prepared when you are out here being your shining lucrative selves. Okay. Cause we're all winners here. If you, if you are on this channel, you're a winner. Hello, comment below. I'm a winner. <laughs> okay. You, we, we're winners here. So we understand that the economy is within, within us. There's nobody going to come along and tell me, Oh, we're, we're, we're in a, uh, what are they calling it now? The depression? No, they're not calling it depression. What, what is it? Somebody comment below. Y'all know what they're talking about now. We're in a something. Okay. We're in a something and they want everybody to fall in line and start saying it to start telling ourselves so that it could come to life that we're in this oppression or whatever they calling it. Depression. No recession. Yeah, no, we're recession proof. 
We are recession proof here in the secured entrepreneur movement. Okay. And as a matter of fact, let Mr. Rohr take it to the slides. I'm going to show you right now what Mr. Rohr is talking about for real. Legally expanding your business internationally tax free. I just love the thumbs up. Okay. Come on, come on with the magic. All right. All right. Now secured entrepreneurs here we are. You all know that this is the time of the afternoon where the sun just really likes to kiss us. All right. So legally expanding your business internationally tax free. You all know that that's what we do here in the secured entrepreneur movement right now. Mr. Aurora recorded a video before I started this video. That video should already be up. In that video, I explained this entire anonymous LLC and why it is we have a manager managed entity as opposed to a member managed entity, which is a mistake. We do not do that here in the secured entrepreneur movement. Okay. So go and see that video. The title is going to be a why so proprietorship is outdated. All right. So here, what Mr. Rory wants to share is that depending on how it is, you're going to set your business up or you have your business set up right now. We know that we're going to be operating out of an anonymous entity here in the United States. We may need to set up an entity that is similar to a limited liability company in this other country that you're either operating out of or from. You have some intimate business going on there that would require you to have an entity in that that country. All right. So all we're going to do is funnel your profits from that entity into the entity that you have here in the United States. Why? Because this is a pass through tax entity. All right. Now what's happening? We're bringing those profits here into the entity here that we have set up here in the United States. That entity happens to be connected to the proper banking. We're, we're banking properly out of this entity and we have the proper credit, the credit that is needed so that in the event that we need money, okay, we need a cash injection that is available to us via this entity and not our personal name, not our personal social security number, nothing to do with us being a guarantor. We have built up this entity and Miss Aurora is going to show you when you come on board with in, in the uh, sole proprietor to CEO program, how it is you actually go about doing that. Okay. Full flesh. Hello, 100. <laughs> All right. And so what happens now? Because this is a pass through tax entity again. So you went from one pass through tax entity in another country to this pass through tax entity in this country. And now we're going to pass the tax through to the irrevocable trust. All right. What did we say? The irrevocable trust is protecting us from some creditors that may be after our fortune. All right. People who want to start some frivolous lawsuits other potential threats because we're in this for the legacy we're in this for the generational wealth the 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 our future heirs who have to reside on this planet when we are no longer here we want to assure that they have a safe place to live wherever it is they desire to live whether it's in this country or outside of this country because unfortunately we may not be here to see a lot of the changes that could actually be harmful for people okay we want to provide a way for our heirs to make a decision and we know that what money does is creates a way for us to make choices choices that are evidently healthy and safe for us all right so this is global revenue management we are managing our international revenue streams effectively to benefit from favorable tax laws in these other countries as well as here in the united states what a lot of entrepreneurs miss are the favorable tax laws that we have the opportunity to take advantage of why is that well we go to people who it's not in their best interest to give us what the tax laws are because they can't make any money if they don't do a tax filing for us. Okay. Now we know that there are professions where you're going to have to pay uh, the city, the state, the county, their tax. We know that we're talking about federal 
income tax here. We're talking about capital gains tax here. Okay. These are the things that the Internal Revenue Service lets us know how to go about avoiding these things. All right. So Ms. Aurora just wants to share with you that this is what we're talking about when we're getting into the global revenue strategy and the international expansion of your business as an entrepreneur. Okay. Because once again, many of you are solo, but you're not going to be looking that way in the public. All right. So this is the small illustration that Ms. Aurora wants to share with you in this. All right. Now, secured entrepreneurs, there you have it. You already know that you can go down in the description box below and click the link for the sole proprietor to CEO program. We'll be very excited to have you there. Check out the video trainings. OK, let's let's do this thing. It's time to be international. It's time to get, you know, the money flowing. You already know this is a Mr. Aurora's billionaire decade. So let's not play these games. That's what Mr. Aurora wants to share with you in today's video. You all know you can find me, Mr. Aurora Day, at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.